Hello everyone, welcome back to the Austin Physio YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking at our top exercises to help with knee osteophytes. So for the first 30 seconds, what I think is really nice is to relax and massage around the patella, so around the kneecap. And the reason why is even though knee OA is commonly on that medial joint line, so it can be around the, the whole knee but most commonly impacting the medial joint line, it's really, really common to have tightness around the quadriceps muscle and a pressure around the knee just where the body has had to compensate for that soreness so once you massage use a tennis ball to very gently work a little bit deeper into the quadriceps so they attach below the kneecap all the way up over the top of the thigh up towards the hip so what we're doing here is just gently releasing up through so again we know that the stiffness and the wear and tear is within the knee joint but we want to improve quality of movement because a lot of the symptoms that people present with when they've got knee OA is tightness, stiffness and difficulty moving the joint as well as restriction in particularly bending the knee and also full straightening. So once you've massaged into the quadriceps, move into the adductor muscles on the inner thigh. So same thing, using that circular motion where you're massaging the adductor muscles and again the reason why is we get typically if it's quite severe through OA we get that joint deformity in the knee so it typically puts pressure around key muscles which is, could potentially be the adductors. Once we've massaged we then want to gently stretch into the adductor so with all of these stretches and movement today which is what you want to encourage with knee OA is you want to do it very very gently so you want to add it very gradually over time so what you're doing is the straight leg you're stretching on the inner part of the leg and you're gently lunging into the opposite knee so only go as far as you feel comfortable once you've stretched for the adductors for 30 seconds move on to the quadriceps and what i really like to show here is an alternative using a tea towel you can use a towel to pull the hill up towards your bum so add this up gradually because a lot of people who have quite severe knee osteophytes really struggle to grab around the ankle and pull it up towards the bum to stretch the front of the thigh and that's why using a tea towel can be quite good to feel that stretch through there by gradually gradually building it up and pulling it up towards the bum so you want to hold that gently we then want to target the rectus femoris which is the upper quadricep so what i've done here is i've put a pillow under the bad knee you should be feeling it around the front of the leg and then i've used two other pillows to lift up the back foot so the reason why is it targets more the rec fem over the hip flexors and you want to gradually lunge forward so you should be feeling it around the front of the quad again only do this if it feels comfortable and you should be holding that for 30 seconds next you want to regain movement so i'm showing this standing and obviously the knee joint is a synovial hinge joint so the main movements are bending and straightening so flexion and extension and you can do this seated so although i'm doing it standing you can do it seated and it's absolutely key to regain that range of motion so you want it lovely slow and controlled within a pain-free range so you want to add it in over time so build up that range so initially if it's really sore just add it in gradually and then moving on to balance so one of the things that's lost when we have quite severe wear and tear in the knee or even if it's mild is that we have a loss of balance so we find that we're very very wobbly through the knee so it's really important to regain that stability and we want to aim to hold this for 30 seconds if this is too much which it probably will be if it's quite severe is just break it down into five second chunks next we want to work into the calf muscle and the reason why is it's quite common to feel it around the back of the leg particularly with knee OA your calf muscle actually attaches up and blends above the knee so what i'm doing here is i'm showing it for the calf you can continue this massage up into the up, upper back of the leg so into the hamstring as well but it's just really nice to kind of release through that lovely massage so just getting lots of blood flow to the area to help with that relaxation and then moving on to a trigger point release so again finding the tender point adding the pressure and holding so it should be relatively comfortable to do this move up into the hamstring if you're feeling like this is beneficial so start with the calf you can move up higher into the leg so behind the knee and a little bit higher into that hamstring you want to hold the pressure take it to about eight out of ten and then hold it until it fully relaxes and feels more comfortable